What's going on guys welcome back to another video and in today's video we are going to be installing android 8.0 oreo lineage os 15 on our galaxy s7 edge finally the wait is over and those who are saying that they were you're late well i was just waiting that this thing actually gets stable cause literally now i want to just focus on stability rather than just removing roms again and again i want to show you guys what actually matters and you guys will actually enjoy it so as you can see i have a stable version of the lineage os 15 running only glitches over here is like minor gpu issues rather than it's basically stable gps and every other stuff is just working fine and there again those who are asking volty you can always use geo 4g voice app for that it's again free you can tap any kind of app it opens just instantaneously you can tap the settings it just opens up right away here is your all new ui it's completely white let's just go to the battery as you can see there is a whole new ui over here you get a huge battery icon to displace your battery it doesn't have animations which is quite weird then you have battery saver, battery percentage, adaptive brightness and normal stuff. Go into the display, go into live display which has been also added over here. You also have color profiles, adaptive works quite perfect for me. Then you get screen calibration and any other stuff which also works. Go into advanced, you get ambient display which also kinda works like always on display. When you get a notification, it lights up. You get display size which is again in 5. Go into the storage, you also have a new UI over here when compared to the Android Nougat. You can see your free storage over here and also free it up by just pressing this. Then again fingerprint scanner is also working but it's not as fast as your normal stock Android. So yeah, you are getting security but not the speed. Going to the security, now you get play, protect and also find my device right at your hand. Going to the apps and notification, going to advanced, special app access, you get picture in picture. So if you have a YouTube Red subscription or if you are watching a video in Chrome, you will be able to just multitask while doing your work about phone. Android 8.0.0, let's just open it. There is your Octopus Easter egg, you can play with it. And again, all of the sensors and camera is also working. So I just didn't make this video in hurry when the network and every other stuff was not working also some of the sensors Now as the camera and the network capabilities have been enabled you are free to install this But if you want to wait till the GPU gets fixed because there are some glitches over here and there As you can see some of the lines There is a minor workaround for this by going to the settings Go into system Go over to about phone Tap the build number for 7 times After enabling the developer options Go over here and just scroll down Till you get hardware accelerator rendering and just enable force GPU rendering and disable hardware overlays that will actually minimize this bug cause once you flash if you just expand the notification panel there are some weird boxes over here which are now been fixed by enable this there are minor glitches over here and there of course but yeah this actually minimizes that so let us get to the installation of this ROM so you have to just download two zips from the link in the description one will be ROM and other one will be the G apps power of our device of course you will need a top recovery for this you can find many videos on that now press your power, home and volume up. Once the name shows, just lift off the buttons. Here is your top recovery. You have to just go to the wipe, advanced wipe, dial mix, system, data, cache. You don't have to wipe your internal storage or the micro SD card. Just wipe to wipe. Home, go to install and search for your ROM. There you go, Lineage OS 15. Add more zips and just pick out any kind of GF such as micro or stock. Now, as I want to make it sooner, I will just go for the micro and confirm to flash. This will take around 2 to 3 minutes. After few minutes, your software has been successfully installed. Just swipe to unlock and reboot system. Do not install and you're done. Now, if you want root with this ROM, you have to install the latest version of the Super SU link in the description, and this will also take around like two to three minutes. Sorry for the awkward lighting as you can't control the brightness into the setup. Let's just quickly do this. Skip setup as new. Skip continue. Next skip skip anyway. Agree. Google now launcher always. And there you go. That's how you install Android 8.0.0 Oreo on your Galaxy S7 Edge. Hope you guys enjoyed. And this ROM is also available for the Galaxy S7, so you can actually follow the same method for that device too and see you in the next one peace